Hi and welcome to another episode and what we've got here is the SNK Neo Geo Arcade Bro uh, or the ASP as some people call it. Um, it's a joystick and it's also an arcade machine in itself sort of, it's a console in itself. Um, you know, it's, it's very good and I've spoken about it here and you can hack it and stuff like that. Now I did purchase some silicone covers for this from NeoGeoArcade.com and they needed a bit of a kick to make sure it got sent out um, but then when they did they did send it out but then I did order this in white and I get a nice little box it's a silicone cover for the joystick itself sort of ball cover I probably won't use this while I'm actually gaming but uh, that's what it's sort of designed for but I'm going to be using it to protect it and we'll see again and then the one thing I'm a little bit disappointed with is the silicone cover to cover the whole thing arrived like this. It all came in a big brown, you know, postage type box all the way from Hong Kong. Um, but I get this, I didn't get the Realtel box, which I've seen other YouTubers get with theirs. Um, and there's no classi classification of why I've received it just in a plastic bag like this. Um, if it comes in a retail box, surely you send it in a retail box. And if you're not going to, you tell the customer that you're not doing that so they can make their mind up. Um, yeah, so I've emailed them asking them why I've only received it like this and I'll I'll do an update in the description below when they finally get back to me. But uh, yeah, I'm not too pleased about that. But let's see how this actually fits on, shall we? Now, as you can see, I ordered the red one, which in real life actually looks a bit more orangey. Um, I'm not too sure. In fact, it looks very orangey, doesn't it? <laughs> the um, I've got this for the right way around. Yep. The yeah, it is red, um, but it's not like uh, red red of what you might notice from something like this. You know, it, um, I don't know why. But let's mess around. So I've already got the USB cable out, so I need to feed that through the side. I have no idea if it came with instructions on how to actually fit this. Um, probably self-explanatory really, but uh, you know, if there is instructions, I never got them because I didn't get the retail box. Um, let's mess around. Oh dear, oh, getting the cable. There we go. A bit further on. Now let's stretch it over. Now, I did say in the last video that I did for this, um, I didn't want to put the feet that comes with the the stick on until this actually arrived because I didn't know where the feet would go um, and you'll see what I mean in a minute when it's actually on which it is now yep, feels it's a good and Paul is that when you with the feet you wouldn't know until you get one of these on how far in it goes so while you're watching this episode I can tell you it reaches you can just see where the you know the screw covers are it reaches just past that and all the way around so if you stick the feet on just inside there that's probably a good place to put them which i will do in a moment when uh, i've got the silicone ball out now is this in the way of the buttons no actually this feels nice you've got space to press the fire buttons joystick's fine but it's going to stop, you know, let's be honest, we might all wash our hands, especially what's going on lately, but, um, you know, just general human sliminess, <laughs> it's, it's perfectly normal. Um, you know, eventually it's gonna wear a shiny spot into the plastic, and I wanna try to avoid that, that's why I've got this. So yeah, it fits, um, especially enough pace for a little USB stick, yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm not happy it didn't come in the cardboard box, um, but um, I should have been told. That's the, that's the just basically it. I think I should have been told as a customer that you're not going to receive the retail box because we're trying to save on postage, um, which is fine, but tell the customer. That's something that I'm definitely going to be passing on to them. I will put a link to the company because, you know, it's one of the few places you can actually get one of these. But the big retail box with this silicone thing sort of looked like this, but just bigger. 
um, a lot bigger. Um, and for some reason the colours don't all match up. You can't get red and red and things like that. It's a bit of a strange way of doing it, but um, I'm supposed to get this on. <laughs> there we go. Line it up with maybe a bit better. <laughs> Bits. And actually, now that it's on there, actually, I might just leave that on there. Yeah, when you get excited playing the games and your hands get a little bit sweaty, I actually help that. Yeah, I wasn't. So, I'd like to have had like a, a black one or a, a red one to match up, but um, yeah, they had like yellow and green. It would have been a bit too much of a color clash, I think. But yeah, actually. That does give you more grip. It feels unusual because obviously I've not really used one like this before, but um, stuff. That seems good enough. Right, so let's stick the feet on, which came with the console in the first place. Russell, Russell, Russell. Right, let's just drop it all out to help avoid the rustling. Oops. Of course, there's the adapter. I'll put that back later. So let's turn it over. And it's just a simple thing of, you know, one side has the, the peeling plastic. So I'm actually going to put this on the, uh, the compartment for the USB cable. I'm going to stick that there. Let's try to get the other one off. I'm actually putting away the whole sticking a layer there. Might be putting a bit, a bit too much off. There we go. Huh. The stickiness of the circle has actually come up and away from the rubber foot itself, which isn't great. So I might end up having to end this a little bit sooner. Yeah, the double-sided sticky tape <laughs> that's actually on the foot has come away with the, uh, the peel away paper. I'm just going to do this off camera a little bit and well, let's try a different one because I might have to fix that <laughs> later. That's not so good, is it? So be very careful when you are peeling away. You're not actually peeling the stickiness away. And then I'll put this on this one. A bit here, it's a bit shoot, but... Uh, it's so that it is actually on the compartment and not over the seam, because obviously that'd be a silly place to put it. And another one. That's come away fine. Put that there. And I'll magically come back and try to solve the problem of this one. Well, that took a bit of arguing with it, but you can maybe see that it, the stickiness is wrinkled, and that's because it had fully lifted with a bit of paper. So be careful when you are doing it. And I'm going to put the other one roughly there. Yep. It might be that that one needs to be fixed later on with some better double-sided sticky tape, because uh, obviously that one's been sort of pulled up. Well, let's flip it over and there we go. The feet, I'm not too sure the feet are actually needed now. Actually, now looking at it, now that because of the rubber bit, the feet don't actually stick down far enough because of the, the rubber 
something maybe I should have looked at. It's yeah, the feet are slightly slower, slower. <laughs> feet are slightly lower than the silicone on the side. So if you haven't put the feet on, you may decide not to put them on because obviously it seems that the silicone is going to be the thing that stops it from sliding around now, not the feet. So that seems to be a waste of time sticking the feet on afterwards if you haven't already done so. But I do like the feel of this silicone now that, um, you know, if this gets all shiny and stuff, I can just wipe it down. And if it does get really shiny, then maybe I can just buy another one at a later time. Um, but in the meantime, it's protecting the plastic from, you know, resting like this and it's slowly but surely smoothing out the plastic and giving sort of a grease spot, which we see on many uh, old computers. I hope that was of some information to you. And as I say, I'll put a link to uh, neogeoarcade.com down below. I'm not sponsored by them. This is all my own money being purchasing these. But as always, happy gaming.